Hi guys, Debbie from Tyler's Travels here and we're off again. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, this weekend we're off to Oxclose Farm again where we've been before but this time we're going for a reason. Last time we were there I picked up a leaflet um, and in the village there of Hubie there's a pub called the Mended Drum and uh, there's what you call drum fest apparently the pub has it must do it every year i think and so i brought the leaf along read it through and i thought oh it sounds quite interesting because they've got like bands on they have street food it's probably like a festival sort of thing so i said oh how do you fancy going to that anyway trevor booked oxclose farm again we booked for two nights so it's saturday today so drum fest is on tomorrow so we're going today Trevor's in Sainsbury's at the moment getting some provisions. Beer, yeah, <laughs> we're surprised. Beer and wine <laughs> to take with us. I have the, I get the food, he gets the booze. So we're taking that with us. We're gonna have a leisurely day today when we get there. And then drum fest is on tomorrow, starts round about one o'clock-ish time. So we'll uh, we'll take it with us and see, see how it goes. As I say, there's uh, music on all sorts of bands on right through to late on and the street food entertainment you know so it should be really good i'm looking forward to it <laughs> There's Tyler patiently waiting for Dad. Where's Dad gone, Tyler? Hey, eh? where's your Dad? Are you watching? He's gone for some food and for some booze, hasn't he? Yeah. He has. You're a good girl, aren't you? You're watching. What a clever girl she is. Where's Daddy? Are you watching for Daddy? Yeah. She is. Won't be long, Tiles. Won't be long. Where are we going, Trev? We're going to... Birmingham. <laughs> what? <laughs> now we've got New York. Box close farm again, our third time. Yeah, but why are we going there? Because the poor, the men did drum. Let's have what we call drum fest. And it's all street food and live music. Yeah, so it should so be good. We're going there for that. And we're there for two nights. Mm. It's now Saturday the 26th of August. And we're coming back on the 28th of August. Back over there. Yeah. So looking forward to this. Yeah. Rock <laughs> Yeah, it should be good. Tyler. Rock Where's Tyler? Sleep Beauty. She couldn't care less where she's gone. <laughs> as long as it's food. <laughs>
third time at Ox Close Farm in Newby, New York, and it is perfect. Absolutely perfect day. There's no wind, no rain. Absolutely beautiful day. Third time lucky for us. Which makes a nice change. I don't think last time I was here I showed the facilities. There's not much of them. You get Wi-Fi, which is good. You get electricity, which is good. Um, and then you get these facilities. So you've got everything there that you need. And fresh eggs for sale. Now I wonder if there's any fresh eggs in here, because last time we said we'd get some, and we didn't actually get any fresh eggs. And, oh, there is some. There's an honesty box there. Right, I will see Mrs Locke, and I think you will get some fresh eggs. And that is where we are pitched. And for the first time using the van, I've used the uh, ramps on the back just to keep it level. And now it's spot on. Oh, Dougie. It's spot on. Where I'm dear, there's only a few people here at the moment. Oh, and there's Tyler. And Mrs. Locke doing something. Mrs. Locke will be cooking. Oh no, she's doing buns. No, I've already done them. Uh, they're nice buns you've got there, Dad. And who's watching? Oh yeah. She's had some milk, milk and water. Has she? She's had a bone. Yeah. And now she wants this. Sarah's not one for drinking water. She likes it with a little bit of milk. It could be just a little drop of milk and she will have it. But water doesn't like it. I'll have the one with the poisoning. There she be. Oh, 64. 64? That's uh, that's your birth. That's your birthday, isn't it, Deb? 1664. No, it isn't. Cheeky pocket. This is Trev trying out his new, his new toy, a drone. <laughs> In the middle of the field, I said that's the best place to try it out. In a big wide open space, when you don't know what you're doing. It's quite good, mind you. can go up to two mile away apparently. I, don't know, I can't even see it, I don't know where it's gone, oh, it's up there somewhere. I can hear it but I can't see it. <laughs> it's, keeping, it's keeping him happy anyway, keeping him amused. Where is it? I can't even see it. I can hear it. I'm blinded by the sun, believe it or not. Sun. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Oh hell, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Can hear it? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh god, you couldn't get much nearer. Go away. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> That's brilliant. When he gets the knack of it.
right, this is Trevor's second attempt from the first time we ever bought it of putting up the windbreak. Because <laughs> the last time it was that bloody it was that bloody windy, we couldn't get the thing up. So he's having another go today. There's no wind, it's sunny, so there's no excuse that he can't do it. So far, so good. But no doubt he'll he'll need my assistance in a minute. Oh, well, he needs me to lift it up. So here we go. Well, we've had this windbreak um, for oh. oh, what have you done? <laughs> Not very strong, are they? You regular? Oh. It's not very strong, and you've bent it. Oh, bugger! <laughs> you bent that side. <laughs> Second time using this windbreak, and she's broke it. Honestly, we had it in Barnard Castle. We had it in Barnard Castle, and now I couldn't get it. it. Was too windy. It was a nightmare. We've done it now. It's uh, it's looking all right. I think it'll do the job, but I think a slight breeze will blow it away. Sixty-five quid from Amazon. So not really cheap. Well, yeah, not really yeah, expensive. Yeah. What have you done? What are you trying to do, honestly? I'm boiling here. I'm not the <laughs> oh, I'll do for now. So there it is. There it was, gone. Oh. Here I can't. Here, bend it back into shape. You need bending back into shape. <laughs> What are you following me around for? What are you following me around for? Are you bending this back in? Are you bending it back in the shit? You only broke it. I haven't. I took it out the ground and it was like that, so that's your fault. Well, we bought some free range eggs and we're going back now. I think Debbie said we're going to put a sticker in the shed. Our first sticker left anyway. You think you'll let me? I could have stick it. <laughs> I can answer that. <laughs> So that's where we're going tomorrow. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Drum fest. Yeah. Check it out. Hopefully it won't be too loud for Charlie. Yeah, well we're gonna stick fest. I think I'll be allowed. I'll be saying the cheeky buggers. Just put up there by that um trip advisor one. That's a nice I hope you place. don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he'll just take it down and move it with his mind's. Yeah. And these are the free range eggs that we've got. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Not bad for £1.20. And we know these are fresh and we know they're definitely free range because the hens are over there to my right. That's right, you did. Excuse my spotty skin as I've been eaten alive by horse flies over the yeah, last couple of days. It's been, been a bit of pain, haven't you? Yeah, well, I've been doing my gardening. Look at the state of my arm. Yeah. Horse flies. Apparently. And apparently she's got a big one on her bum as well, but she won't show me that. No, one. it's on me. It's <laughs> on me bum, it's on me hip. It's there. And one on my ankle. <laughs> So I must taste nice. <laughs> <laughs> to flies, yeah, probably. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an absolute lovely sight. Been flying the drone around today and the weather has been absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous today. Been in the pub, had a few drinks, met some people. We've met someone, I think his name is Chris, who follows us on YouTube. Gave him a sticker. Our first sticker we've been given out. Um, yeah, it's been really, really lovely day. Met some lovely, lovely people. As we always do, to be honest, we always meet nice people. I can always say I've never met a horrible person who we've been talking to. Hope I never will, to be honest.
night. Best night's sleep everything, about quarter now when we got up. A bit later for Mrs. Luck. She's looking beautiful as ever. <laughs> doing uh, doing my breakfast. Uh, That's lovely, and someone else is waiting. She's had a piggy. So we're having sausages and egg. Very nice, cooked by the lovely Mrs. Lock. And the weather's nice again today. Mm -hmm. We're lucky, yeah. And breakfast is served. Oh, nice. Take a look at this, my friends. Mac Master says. Just that cup. We need a consort mug. Oh, I know. Yeah, they need to come up. I might just have to design and make an order, buy, whatever, a consort mug. <laughs> BW. Mm. Well, we're just about to go for a little wonder when um, it started spitting. Now it's raining, sort of heavy. So we're going to ride this through, aren't we, Jeff? Just wait for it to go. Isn't this a. No. <laughs> it's what it is. And Charles not too bothered. See you, hey, Charles. You're going to go for a walk out in this rain, do you? Hey, no. I'm going this way. It's still nice enough, though. Drum fest. Here it is. We're just walking to the pub now. Band parking. Oh, band parking only, Sandy. <laughs> so the band's never out. Eh? And uh, yeah, you can't park anywhere because the bands have to get the gear in and out. I'm 
just coming down hard, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think the fans are going to stop playing now. Festival, but this weather is absolutely terrible. We're coming along from the, uh, the Mended Drum. We had a lovely evening, haven't we? Yeah. Well, afternoon. Now we're coming home in the pitch black. Coming home in the pitch black. We don't know where we bloody go, are we? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a Cantonese. We're going to have to have get back. It's about half past nine and it's pitch black. So we'll take your darkies around. <laughs> 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 yeah. There's a few lights up here, about four street lights, and after that it's uh, no street lights. Yeah. But we've had a great time, some great really bands, I met some lovely people. Met a few subscribers as well come to us. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> which was nice, wasn't it? Give a few stickers out. Yeah, and Charlie's been really good. Yeah, she's been well. Yeah, good. loud music and that, and all the people there, she's been really brilliant. Uh, but she has ham and cheese, hasn't she? When the barmaids there kept coming over and giving ham and cheese to her. <laughs> well, we made it back. We have, yeah. <laughs> We've made it back, been the Cantonese, and we're having a nice Cantonese now. Debbie's having. Uh, Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour chicken balls, and I'm having something to do with beef. Uh, spicy beef. Uh, spicy beef, something like that, yeah. And, of course, uh, a nice red wine. Oh, yeah. oh 
I need that, but I need food more. It's not often I would say, but what's that? <laughs> oh, she's put the uh, she's put the lantern on. That makes you feel warm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, we like that. We should have a few with them. Well, we're going back to the Harrogate show, aren't we? Am yeah. Right, get your and, food. And let's see Tyler, Tyler there. Let's have some food. And uh, oh, get that down, you. <laughs> Mm. Food, can't wait. Catch you guys later. So yeah, I bought a drone, as you may have seen from the footage that I've been doing. Oh. What's up with you? Stop droning on. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. <laughs> if, even Charles not impressed, didn't he? That was funny, did you Charlie? Hey. Eh? Yeah, that was always funny. droning on, Tyler. Anyway, I was saying, yeah, I've got this drone, Hollystone HS 360S. Very pleased, it's very easy to fly, and I'm a completely novice when it comes to flying drones. I have not a clue. Have I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you said it. Yeah, before anybody else does. Yeah, so just a little quick rundown of what you get in the box with this. I'm not going to do an unboxing, I've already unboxed it and flown it. There's loads on YouTube, just go and look at them. So, what you get is a case. And you open the case up. Nice little storage compartments. Put it all in. You get the drone itself, this little bad boy. Camera. Now, it doesn't have a gimbal on it, so the quality of the pictures will be a little bit unstable, but they're not that bad, to be honest. Um, it's got underneath a little TF. Yeah. TFF slot or whatever it is, put the micro card in there, and then you got your battery, goes in there, just slots out, power on off and rechargeable. And then you get the controller, and this little thing pops up, and it doesn't need Wi-Fi, you just connect this to your phone. It does come with a few different connectors, so if you got if you don't have an iPhone, the chances are you'll be sorted. And that just goes back into there when it's not in use. And you just pop that down, and there you go. And these unscrew, and they just pop into here at the back. And you just take them out and screw them in when you're using it. Nice little, uh, what is it, little card that goes over the controller and just shows you what the controls are doing. Oh, I'm showing it upside down. There you go. Make that better. And on the back, you can turn it over, it gives you more information. Very interesting, Sal, isn't it? And then you get this little cover that goes over the camera to protect it. We're not in use. Um, these are the these are the leads. So if you get different phones, they will just plug in. I'm sure you'll be sorted. Instructions, very comprehensive instructions. And you get some spare rotors, NB, and you get a nice little screwdriver and some screws. And that is it. Instructions, I think they're in German and English. Very easy to follow. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. A really good drone, and I'm happy with this. Happy with the results. For now, no doubt, when Christmas comes, I'll be saying to Mrs. Lock, I want a better one. I want a and what will and what will Mrs. Lock be saying back to me? You know what you Well, thank you very much. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, if you're a good boy. Highly unlikely. Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it, Charles?
Hier nog voor de leep. Oh, nee, is Mrs. Lock flying the drone. <laughs> you take a picture of Enjoy the tip. <laughs> drone low voltage. That's where your phone goes to control the drone with the app, which is the HS Flyme. Drone me. low voltage. Take it up, Ang. Drone low voltage. Got by a seagull. <laughs> It's Tyler watching. Oh, I think Mrs. Lock will have to uh, buy her own drone. I think she's taking my toy off me. I think she's enjoying it too much. Which is good. Yeah, we'll have drone fights. Just come back for a walk around the village and we've come to the campsite and um, everyone's gone. It's just us here now. And it is uh, Tyler. I don't know what she's doing, she's trying to find things to eat. Yep, there we are. Well, there's Madam Tyler. Got the whole field to yourself, towels. You can run about. Come on! Where's mum? Go see mum. Where's mum? <laughs> this is just beautiful. It's just absolutely still, quiet, nothing. Love it. Absolutely. Love it here. Has the clue what she's doing? <laughs> it's not rocket science. Oh. I think I'd better go out with Elber. <laughs> oh, she's got Malton's help.
Sorry, Charlie. Just wait for Mum. It's rocket science trying to close the gate and open the gate. There here she comes. That was fun, wasn't it? Wasn't it just? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you made that look difficult. It's good your mount turned up and helped you. I know. <laughs> I should have known it went that other way. Yeah, you should have done. Never mind. Well. <laughs> <Salam>. Onwards. <laughs> Homeward bound now. Oh, don't say that. Yeah. Right. Home we go. <laughs> <laughs>